Today I'm going to go over vocabulary for answering the phone. When I've lived abroad, for me it's been one of the most intimidating things to answer the phone and to speak on the phone because of course you don't have the benefit of seeing the person's mouth, seeing their face, and having all that communication that happens without the voice. So let's start with the most common way to answer phone in the United States. Hello? You can see the voice goes up. Hello? This is because we're asking a question, inviting the person to say the next thing. Hello? So simply the word hello has the H consonant sound, the E eh as in bed vowel sound, he, the light L and the O as in no, he, lo, hello? Although simply saying hello is the most common greeting, you might sometimes do something different, especially at work. For example, if your desk phone is ringing, you might answer the phone, this is Rachel, and just say this is and then your name. This is Rachel. So this is, the TH is voiced, th, so you make sound with your vocal cords. It is then the I as in sit vowel, th, and the unvoiced S sound, this. For the word is, you have the I as in sit, and here the S is voiced, so it is a Z sound, is. This is. This is Rachel. Another important thing you might do when answering the phone is to say, how can I help you? This is Rachel, how can I help you? How begins with the H consonant sound and has the ow as in now diphthong. How. Now the word can here, how can I help you, is not as important as help. And so can, in this case, gets reduced to can, can, the K sound squished together with the N consonant sound without a, ah, the a ah as in bat sound. How can, how can, I with the I as in by diphthong, how can I help? Help begins with the H consonant sound and has the E eh as in bed vowel sound, he, Ol, it then has the dark L sound, ol, ol, and the P sound, p. How can I help? How can I help you? U has the Y consonant sound, y, y, and the U as in boo vowel sound, u. So it is the U as in few diphthong. How can I help you? Now let's notice here the words I said can is reduced and help is important. How can I help you? How can I help you? Perhaps you've answered the phone without giving your name just by simply saying hello and the person has asked for you. Is Rachel there? Then you want to let that person know that it's you that's speaking. For that you can say this is she or this is he. It begins just like this is Rachel, but instead of your name, you would say she or he. This is she. This is he. Also, sometimes you might just say speaking. That is to say, this is me speaking, but it gets shortened just into the word speaking. Is Rachel there? Speaking. Speaking begins with the unvoiced S consonant sound, s. It has the P consonant sound, sp, sp. The E as in she vowel sound, speak. The K sound, speak. And the I as in sit with the NG sound, ing, ing. Speaking. Maybe the person on the other end of the line has asked not for you, but for someone you live with or work with that you can go get and let them know someone's calling. Then you can say, hold on, or yes, hold on. Hold on has the H consonant sound and the O as in no diphthong. It's followed by the L, which is coming at the end of the syllable here, so it is a dark L. That means that the O as in no diphthong is not ho, but whole. So the lip position is a little different as it is moving into the dark L. Hold on, hold on, the D consonant sound, the ah as in father sound, and the N sound.
Now, the D consonant sound is really linked here to the ah as in father sound, even though it's the next word, hold on, don, as it is one part of one idea. Yes, hold on, or hold on. It also would be very appropriate to go ahead and add the please. Hold on, please. Please has the p consonant sound, the light L, pull, pull, E as in she, plea, plea, and the z, z consonant sound, please. Hold on, please.